Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys our qualifying matches. These games are for 2022 Brawl Stars Esports. It just started, the qualifiers were last weekend, and these games were determining if we are going to make it to the monthly finals or not. So without wasting any more of your guys' time, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what happened. All right, so this year, a lot has changed with competitive. It's going to be draft now, which a lot of you guys do know. Maybe a lot of you guys don't. Draft is just power league format. So, you know, someone gets the first pick, then the next team gets the next two, etc. So we first pick Tick, they took Leon and Byron. Then we took Piper, Daryl, and they took Stu. So pretty good draft by them. I think they have a slightly better comp. Um, so I'm going to get a kill to start off the game with Slash going for the blue star. Unfortunately, OG gets caught a little bit too aggressive. Um, and he's going to go down. Now this is a best of three. The sets, so you have to win two sets to win. Each set is also a best of three. So not too much brawl to be played. It's only four wins in order to get the win. Lugi's going to find a way to get a kill on us. Luckily, we're going to be able to kill him. And now it's an 8-8 tie. But because of Arc Brawl Stars' idea of having a blue star, we have the lead here. Uh, Zara is going to be pretty low. Um, and honestly, their comp is just applying a lot of pressure. Like, we can't really do too much at this time. Uh, Slash is going crazy. OG has a hard time, obviously, laning a Stu or a Leon as a tick because they can just go right up into his face. And then as a tick, you know, it's a little bit challenging to lane something that's right in front of your face. But here we're starting to get some position. I'm able to hit Luki while he's invisible. Hit him again. Almost get the kill. Zar almost gets a kill, but good heal over there by Sly Frixie. Um, and I'm going to go down over there. OG gets a kill, but we are down seven stars right now. So it's not looking too good. Luckily, Luki does waste an invis though. So the game is winnable. We do need to only kill Slash and Luki. We don't need all three. So I'm just going to hit... A curve over over there on him. Um, OG's going to stay alive. Zara's going to go for the roll. He's not going to be able to get the kill. 15 seconds left. He goes down. I'm close to going down. Um, I'm going to go for a wild curve. Slash blocks it. And that is going to be game one. So this team is really good. Um, you guys might know Slash from old videos that I did last year for competitive. Uh, Luki as well from being the GOAT Dinah. A lot of you guys do know him. Uh, and then Frixie's also a really good player. So this is a really, really strong team. Uh, they're pretty good. Also, my friends. So let's hop into game two and let's show you guys what happened in the second game of the set. So again, it's a best of three of the exact same comps. Um, so don't expect any comp changes. Draft is going to be really big this year. It's going to change a lot of things. So it's going to be really interesting what happens. Again, Slash is going to get two tapped five seconds into the game. I know, guys, I'm so good at Piper. You guys don't have to say that in the comments. Yeah, this is what we want right here. The goal with our comp is to have the lead, and they have to come towards us. They have to walk into me bush camping with Piper. They have to walk into a Daryl with Super, and they have to walk into a Tick, which is a lot easier than us pushing into them. This map specifically, the blue star, is so ridiculously important because just the way the map is designed. It's just really important you grab that blue star because you can just hide behind the walls and then kind of just play how you would like to play the game. So Zara's is going to roll onto Slash. He's going to get the kill. We're going to hit Luki a couple times. Zara, he's just going to be rolling around. We call him the Zero. He kind of just does his thing. I don't know. Luki's going to get the kill, but it's just going to be an instant trade-off with OG. Um, so yeah, we're kind of just chilling right now a minute into the game. Um, doing our thing. I'm kind of scared of the Leon. Leon pops out. Luki's going to get nice and slimy. Meanwhile, I miss a curve. Zar goes down. So now we're only up one. Luki's starting to get a little bit aggressive. We hit one shot on him. Um, kind of scary right now. I'm going to jump back into Slash. I should have died there. I don't die. Zar gets a kill. And that's kind of, you know, the turning point in this game. I probably should have died. And even if I, if I did die, it would have been a much closer game than it is now. Um, I'm going to hit a really long curve over there on Slash. Uh, Luki is invis. We know he is, so we start shooting everywhere randomly. OG goes down, but it's just a trade-off as Zar ends up getting the kill. And at this point, we're up eight. We're in a pretty comfortable position here. We're kind of doing uh, what we want to do. And, you know, that's it. That's the game right there. So that's going to be game number two. We had a pretty strong Piper game. We got... Six whole stars, seven whole stars, oh, and the blue. Wow, I'm so good. I know, guys. Uh, but yeah, let's hop into game number three now and show you guys what happened in game number three. So going into game number three, again, same strategy. We want to get the blue star because whoever has gotten the lead 
um, in the first two games ends up taking the W. This time Slash is not going for blue. I was waiting for him. He does not go for it. Luki survives on 46 HP, uh, which kind of sucks. I hit a curve over there on Slash. No kill uh, to come from it though. And now they have the blue star. So they don't have to do anything. They can hide back. I think the mistake here was them pushing up. They end up getting a kill on me, but the Zeril decides that he's going to go crazy and he is going to get a double kill and then walk, well, not really walk, kind of like a waddle back to our spawn. Uh, I get the curve. I wrap it around that barrel thing and there we go. The Zeril clutches up. He gets us the lead and even though we didn't get the blue star, we are now in the exact position we want, which is with the lead, hiding behind these walls, playing like a bunch of babies. Uh, but it is competitive. It is for money. It is, you know, us trying to make worlds in the start of the year. So we are going to play like, you know, a little bit of uh, babies, you know, hiding behind walls, just playing like, like, you know, it's world finals out here. We're trying to win. So uh, OG is going to go down there after getting a kill. Zar, he's doing his best to corral slash. He ends up getting the kill. Um, so everyone's doing a good job. We're up by seven right now. OG's job is to take care of that Leon super. He's going to take care of it. Luki is going to kill me here. I try to jump to the side. The game said no. Actually, he's not going to kill me. The Zeril bailed. How did that hit? One second. I didn't think that could hit Frixie. The Zeril bailed me out over there with Luki, but I don't know how my curve hit Frixie. That was a weirdo curve. I don't know, but we're going to end up getting that kill. OG is going to get that kill, and it is now 18-5 to with just under 30 seconds left. And this game, I mean, as you guys can tell, at this point, it's pretty comfortable for us. Um, we there it would be a lot if they kill all of us They'd only win by one star and that's with them not dying. So we have a pretty comfortable lead here I'm gonna jump back Luki's gonna kill me, but it doesn't really matter as long as Someone stays alive and that someone is gonna be the OG tick hiding in the corner So that is going to be set number one. It is now one nothing for us in sets so We need to win one more set to qualify for the monthly final So let's hop into it and let's show you guys the map and let's show you guys what happened so going into the next game here we have parallel plays which has been re-added to competitive um so how this draft went was i first picked leon they proceeded to go uh, i think spike and ash with them going ash and spike we decided to go crow to help out with the ash and then amber because amber is kind of good into everything and then luki is going to hop on the sprout because luki likes playing throwers and he wants to enjoy his sprout um we banned Byron because Luki told me the day before qualifiers happened that Slash has been playing a lot of Ash and Ash is his favorite brawler and the only brawler he ever wants to play is Ash. So I said, oh, you know what's good with Ash? Byron, you know what they're probably going to play? Ash. So let's ban Byron. And I think that probably helped us out a lot in this set. There, I missed like three clips with my Leon. Uh, you guys don't see me on Leon often. It's for good reason. I'm not very good at it. Uh, Zar with an interesting jump there, but OG's gonna hold it down on the defense side. Now, this map is really interesting and competitive because basically what happens eight out of 10 games is one team gets their zone, the other team gets their zone, and now it is just a face off. Whoever can win mid control, whoever can apply pressure and then end up getting into the other team's zone. Zar is gonna go down, OG is gonna go down, so they end up in our zone here. Zar gets a nice double slow. I don't know if I would have jumped forward or back if I was him. Probably back. Uh, but doesn't matter. We get the kill over there on Luki. Frixie's going a little bit aggressive. So I, you know, being an invisible Leon, I'm like, okay. I'll go in your zone, I guess. Uh, so we're now in their zone. Slash is going to get that kill, but OG's holding it down on the defense side. I'm trying to get slimy, but Luki is just the best sprout to ever exist. So he's hitting his shots a good amount. I'm still trying to get slimy. Got a decent amount of percentage there. Uh, but I do end up going down. Zar is going to jump on Luki. He's going to get absolutely whacked by Slash. Um, and now it's... I mean, it's a pretty even game. Kind of anyone's game right now. Depends who can get control. They only need like four seconds in our zone. Zar hits a nice double slow over there. I'm invis trying to sneak into, the, into their zone. I get behind Frixie. And I whiff some shots. But we do end up getting the kill. OG ends up getting the kill over there on Luki. Slash is going to run back, but it is not going to do anything. And this game is looking pretty good for us, but Sly Fix Frixie with a good spike super over there. Me and OG probably shouldn't have been standing on top of each other because now we're giving them a chance to win. Um, really nice clip there by me. 
And, you know, good jump over there, I guess, by Zar. Uh, I'm going to get the kill on Luki. And now with 15 seconds left, there's nothing that they can do to win this game. Um, so the match is going to end. Sly Fri Frixie throws up a heart. Uh, we're in pretty good graces with all of the teams. So, uh, you know, we're just going to shoot the wall, kind of BM a little. Everyone is going to throw up their heart pins. Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, with majority of the, of the teams, you know, we're homies with them, we're friends with them, we like to keep it cool. So let's hop into game number two and show you guys what happened there, because that game was, that game was something. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys. Alright, so going into game number two here, again, same thing, I'm gonna hop on the defense, Zara's gonna hop in the mid, OG's gonna hop in the aggro. We thought maybe they would switch a little bit, uh, but they elect not to. I think, again, their comp is a little bit better than ours. Because it's a little bit hard for us to deal with the Ash. Um, and then the Spike as well is pretty good into us. Luki somehow knows where I am all the time when I'm invisible. I guess it's like his superpower or something. But he's going to get some good shots off on me. Uh, OG's going to miss that super. I don't know how because to BH I thought it hit. Uh, but I'm going to go be sneaky. The sneak did not end up working out for myself. Luckily though, OG ends up finishing off Slash. And although they're winning... They only have their zone, and we're trying to be a little bit aggressive and get the mid control and maybe take their zone and then get ours later. So I'm trying to hit some clips. I hit a couple. Luki messes up his wall, um, which is kind of rare coming from the best sprout of all time, Luki Bear. Um, Zar is going to mess up his jump. Honestly, I might have to take over crow duties after all these jumps that I'm seeing by Zar. Um, but OG, he's holding it down on the top. Um, he's doing his thing. He's got like half the zone one-on-one -on -one, and this is the matchup that we really wanted um, Was the amber on the spike and he, I mean it's not by any means an easy matchup So he's doing a really ridiculous job Getting more than half their zone Unfortunately though, they get more than half of our zone So I can't e we're winning by a little bit, but it's three percent lead both teams are pretty close to uh, to winning here uh, so it's a little bit scary. Luki's doing his thing. He's getting the wall down, and he's going to get to, you know, hitting some shots. OG gets a ton of value. He's going crazy. He goes a little bit, oh, maybe not too aggressive. I don't know. He does his job. He does really good. Um, and now we can maybe take control of their zone. I'm going to try and move up. Frixie's hitting me with a good amount of shots. This guy's just different on the spike, I guess. I'm looking like a bot. I go down and die. That was a pretty bad play by me over there. Um, and OG and Zar are kind of just holding it down. So now I'm just trying to get my super over there. Zar is going to jump in. Good jump over there by Zar. He gets a double slow off. Unfortunately, though, Luki has a wall, so we can't really do anything about it. I'm going to go invis and try and sneak on the spike. But the spike saw me go invis, so he's just going to put his spike super there. Deny any access of me going through the mid. And because I'm on the healing star power, not the speedy one... I can't go through the mid. I can't sneak, so I just gotta, you know, kind of stay there. I waste my super. OG gets hit a couple times, but he still manages to get the kill. Zar does go down, and now I'm left in a 2v1. Luki with a really good super there is gonna wall me out, and I'm like, all right, guys, I'm just gonna go for their zone. You guys have fun with that. Uh, but there is no way that they're gonna get them out, so that is going to be game number two. Heart pins are gonna be thrown up again, so again, we are going back into game number three so let's hop into game three and let's show you guys what happens in the all-important game number three so hopping into the last game of this set here um i'm you know like i'm like all right i didn't play that well my bad um so i'm focused up for this game we get a pretty early kill og's gonna go down he's gonna get pretty hard pinched uh both sides kind of just prioritize defense that time because of how easily both of us were able to capture each other's zones um, you know, I'm kind of just chilling in my invis turret here. OG's kind of, you know, in a bad spot because he doesn't want to burn his flame. But he also doesn't want to let Luki just do everything he wants for free. But Luki's kind of having his way. I don't know. He's different on the throwers. Luki is different. Slash ends up getting in our zone. Zarya's going to jump on Slash. He's going to end up almost getting the kill. Okay, he gets the kill. And now it's a 3v1. So here, we're like, all right, now we need to get some control. Frixie puts up his cactus. OG is going to lay the fire down, and he's going to go for the burn. He's going to miss it, but he's now in the zone. He's now getting some time, and we got a pretty good pinch angle over there on Slash. So I'm going to go invis. Um, I'm going to try and be sneaky. I get into the zone. Uh, you know, I'm trying to wiggle, trying to do my thing. Um, I'm going to break the cactus, but Luki's just hitting me too many times. He's being a little bit toxic. Uh, so I do last a little bit longer than I expected, but I do end up going down. So we have a slight lead at this point. Um... 
11 percent you know not the greatest lead not the worst lead you know we take it slash is going to go down oh never mind he decides to click his gadget to stay up ends up going down probably a waste of a gadget over there and now again we have some really good control uh so we probably should have tried to push a little bit more forward there since Luki and Frixie were both half health but we decided not to uh, we decided you know we want to play this one a little bit more patient since we kind of rushed the last game uh, and trying to get into the zone I end up trying to sneak here I end up getting in Frixie is going to super me I don't know what's happening at the top right now I guess I'm just chilling doing my thing Zar and OG end up getting a kill and now that they're 2v1ing me it kind of just allows Zar to walk up the map and do his thing he gets a little bit of time in the zone over there um slash 54 h i feel like this guy is always at like one shot for whatever reason but i'm in viz i can't shoot curveball apparently so they find out where i am um but we have a little bit of a lead here pretty comfortable and then i remember right at this point my goddamn headset died so now i can't hear what they're saying they can't hear what i'm saying um i'm just trying to hit these clips on slash i end up going down and i'm like oh my god like there's no way this is happening right now um, but Zara, he's gonna go for a jump. They're gonna end up killing Frixie. And then I'm pretty sure they get a nice slow there. I'm gonna go under to get Luki. We're gonna end up getting the kill on Luki pretty easily. And now Zara's gonna get into their zone. So at this point here, it's a win. Um, game's over. I'm gonna throw up my heart pin. Luki's gonna throw up his heart pin. Slash is having absolutely none of it. Um, he doesn't like it that I play ladder with his girlfriend. So I'm kidding. Um, so he's gonna kill me there, but that is going to be game that is going to be match and that's gonna be a 2-0 win for us So GG's to that team. They were really really strong. They ended up qualifying in the losers bracket um, it, To make the monthly final we went perfect. We end up making the monthly final So that's gonna be in a couple weeks. It's gonna be really fun the first one of the year It should be pretty exciting and obviously I'm gonna be posting those games for you guys So if you guys like the competitive videos, which I know you guys really do and you guys want to keep up you know like comment subscribe all that but i will be back again soon and i will see you guys then peace hey you yes you there watching this on your phone have you ever wanted to be the best the most handsome the most loved player on your team and support your favorite creator at the same time well i have good news you can be all of that and more by using code bobby but you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.